Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we're talking about measuring metric lengths. It comes from chapter 3, lesson 2 out of our book. And uh, in our last lesson we learned about decimals and the decimal system and how it's a base 10 system. Well that works really well when we uh, pair it with the metric unit. As you've learned in Mr. Volk's class, the metric unit is based off of the number 10 as well. Um, that each unit is comprised of 10 of the previous units. So for example with our um, millimeters there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter and so on. So we're going to build off of what Mr. Volk has been teaching you today and uh, start figuring out how to pair metric lengths with our decimal system. So let's go ahead and um, get started. So if we look at this example um, here it's showing us a dinosaur tooth, which no big deal. They've paired it up with a centimeter ruler, which you can see right uh, right below it. And the, on this centimeter unit, it's telling us that each millimeter is one tenth of a centimeter. So one millimeter equals 0 0.01 centimeters, which is going to be important information for us in this unit. So we can see they've lined it up here at the end, which is where we need to start with, and it's taking up three full centimeters and then just a little part into that fourth centimeter. As we set up here, one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So if we look and we line this up, you'll be able to see that it is an extra two. It goes over one, two places here, which uh, tells us that it's two tenths of a centimeter. So the length of this tooth, when we measure it from its end to end, it's three and two tenths, which is the same thing as 3.2 centimeters. That's how we need you to be looking at um, these measurements. So if we look at these, let's go ahead and try these together. Um, we need to write, we need to look at our um, directions here and we see that we're writing the length of the line segment as a decimal number of centimeters. So although we're going to be using the millimeters, we need to remember that each millimeter is a tenth of a centimeter. So when we look at this, this line here, it's one, two, and not quite three centimeters. So we know it's going to be two point something. Um, how many, how far does it go? Well, this bigger line represents the halfway mark, so that would be five tenths. And it looks like it goes one more spot over. So I'm going to say that this is 2.6 centimeters. And let's make sure that we label our work here so we know what we're talking about. Um, how about this one? I want you to try and do this one on your own. You might need to pause it and uh, then we'll talk about it in a second. Alright, you should have noticed that this is a full three centimeters and then a partial centimeter. Um, so we look, it's not quite to the halfway, so I've got one, two, three. It looks like it's three centimeters and three millimeters, which is the same thing as writing three point three three centimeters. And you'll have to uh, excuse my poor writing. My pen is not working here, so I'm having to use my mouse pad here. Um, but yeah, so when we look at this, our first one was two full centimeters and then six-tenths of a centimeter. The second one is 3.3 .3 centimeters. So now on this next page, these are some common conversions that you're going to want to pause and write them down. Uh, you need to know that one millimeter is the same thing as a tenth of a centimeter, which we talked about. Uh, one millimeter is also equal to one thousandth of a meter. Uh, you can see these right here. A centimeter is equal to ten millimeters and it's equal to one one hundredth of a meter. And when we look at meters, we know that one meter is the same thing as one thousand millimeters. It's also the same thing as a hundred centimeters. Or if we want to go uh, the opposite way, one meter is equal to one thousandth of a kilometer. So go ahead and get those in your notes. We're going to do another example here. Find the length of the line segment to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. So again, just what we were doing before, 
We're looking at our ruler here. We know that it's six full centimeters and then just part of that next one. It's over the halfway line, so I'm looking. This bigger line here means five millimeters. It goes two more. So it's six and seven tenths centimeters, just like it says here. Now I've got two left, two examples left for you to do. Uh, so I want you to go ahead and do these and bring them to class tomorrow. Have a great night, and uh, we'll see you in class.